Google Internet. <laughs> Is that our intro? What's our intro? Hey, guys. Hey guys. It's us, Blam Death Cakes. And we got a brand new trailer here that we are going to watch and uh, react to and review and do our analysis for. Without further ado, you're going to hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, shit, I just erased my computer. All right, so first off here, we got uh, a guy riding a horse in the snow. Very Justice League. When I think of Justice League, I think of guys riding horses in the snow. Who's this probably Batman? Yep. <laughs> What's with the goggles? Those are his, he doesn't want to get snow in his eyes. Those are the same goggles <laughs> that he had in the desert Batman scene. Oh, we had to first look at a uh, parademon. About to kill Cyborg's dad. Aquaman. Aquaman likes water. And, and alcohol. And alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> we got Cyborg here. You should probably move. Barry Allen. Very disappointing. Huh? Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. I'm gonna see the Flash doing the same thing he did in that other trailer. Like, yeah. You were gonna kill me, weren't you? <laughs> I mean, we've seen so much of the Flash on the TV show now. It's hard to be like, "Ooh, that's different." He caught something in slow motion. Same thing with Wonder Woman. Like, I've already seen a bunch of Wonder <laughs> Woman trailers, so it's like, yeah, she's kicking somebody. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, where are they in a bank? And also, <laughs> they're on a bank. Uh. All the bad guys look like Cyborg. I can't tell. Are yeah, they... especially once Cyborg put that thing on it. Yeah. Like, well, no, it looks like a parody. Yeah, it's like, did he just shoot Cyborg, or is that a bad guy? Yeah. Well, that looks dumb. <clears throat> See, at least Batman shoots the parademons instead of people. <laughs> yeah. Commissioner Whiplash there. And hilarious joke. So I guess Aquaman got beat up. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Question time. What do you think Question of the trailer? Uh... Uh, Flash, like I said, we've seen so much Flash on the TV that it's hard to get excited. Uh, the only one that really was like, oh, yeah, he looks kind of cool, was Aquaman. Hmm. I think Aquaman kind of seemed like he had a cool attitude. It wasn't very much like Aquaman, or the Aquaman I know, but he seemed like he might be interesting, or maybe the breakout of the movie. Aquaman's going to be the breakout of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I, th I thought Cyborg looked really bad. What do you mean, just design-wise or CGI-wise? Both. Like, I felt like his design looked weird because he's got real skinny, like, wrists and ankles. And then also his face being on that CGI body doesn't look right. You see that with Robert Downey Jr. in Avengers every once in a while, but it's not always there. His looks like it's going to be always there, where it's kind of like it doesn't look like the face is on the body. I just think that for such a great character, which has like a lot of good potential, I mean, you know, he could be like Iron Man. I mean, basically. Yeah. But I think, you know, the CGI on the face looks bad. The design looks bad in the sense that I just think it looks weird. It doesn't look cool. And he looks like all the bad guys. So when you're watching it and you're seeing all this kind of quick cut action here, you're like, wait, did, are they fighting Cyborg? Are they fighting each other? Are they fighting Parademons? What's going on? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, it didn't it didn't impress me as far as cyborg there the only one that kind of looked cool was uh, Aquaman and then <clears throat> the main my main complaint about this and this is for all of their promotional things for it so far you know even taking out you know the past movies and how I feel about those which I love DC but I don't like their past movies you don't love Superman <clears throat> from 
the movie? The, the you don't sick, like the, the Dark Knight? The DCEU <laughs> movies I don't like. You didn't like Green Lantern? How how you gonna have a Justice League trailer, poster, anything without Superman? I mean, that'd be like if you made a movie about the 90s Bulls and you didn't have Michael Jordan in it. In any of the promotional material. It was just all Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman and Steve Kerr and stuff. Luke Longley. I mean, there was those two seasons where Michael Jordan wasn't there. <laughs> I mean, I suppose. You know what I mean. It's like you've got a famous group and you have the most iconic character. Mm -hmm. Even if he's not the most popular, you know. Like I said, if you take the Mickey Mouse characters... <laughs> You know, Mickey Mouse isn't the most popular. I'd say Goofy is more popular, but Mickey Mouse is the most iconic one. Yeah, Goofy's so, like Batman. Yeah, Goofy <laughs> is the Batman, and Mickey Mouse is the Superman. So if you're going to make a Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse movie, but you don't have Mickey Mouse anywhere in the promotional material, how am I supposed to get excited for it? It's all just Goofy and Donald and... Yeah, but would you really want to see Mickey Minnie. in the... <laughs> <laughs> if they're making a oh. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse... I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. I think Superman should have... I mean, I thought what would have happened was they showed all those little teasers. They didn't have a Superman one. What I was hoping was that, like, they would go through the whole trailer, and then at the end, like, Superman would be there, and he'd be like, I'm back, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there wasn't even, like, you thought, like, maybe in the last frame, there'd be, like, a woo, and, like, you'd see, like, a flash of Superman, or you'd see yeah. Superman doing something, nothing. Yeah. It, they're just, like... Trying to bury Superman. They're, they're acting like Superman is like, you know, under some legal trouble or something like that. Like he beat up his wife or something like Johnny Depp. And they're like, let's not put him in the trailer at all. Cause... Yeah, I mean, and we know Superman's going to be in it. But I suppose, I mean, maybe it's like you said, maybe he's going to be the villain. Like maybe he's going to come back mind controlled and he's going to be fighting him. And like, that's what's going to happen. Or at the very, or maybe like he's not really going to be in it a lot <laughs> at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, which would suck because it's just kind of like, like we know he's going to be coming back. You told us at the end of Batman Superman he's coming back. Yeah. Like, we know he's coming back. Yeah. It's not even like a Star Wars Luke Skywalker thing where, like, we're going to be like, ooh, yeah. where, why is he on the Because they're not passing the torch. I mean, this is the Justice yeah, League. Yeah, it's like, we know Superman's going to come back and you're going to try to make another Superman movie. Yeah. See, and know? that's the thing. It's like, this era of superhero movies... It's not guaranteed, you know? This may be your only shot at a Justice League movie. I mean, by this time in five years, I mean, superhero movies might be tanking, you know? So this might be your only shot to ever do a Justice League movie, and you've done it, and Superman's barely in it, or he's the bad guy. Yeah. I mean, that'd be crazy. That'd be so stupid. I, I hope this isn't the end for superhero movies, but you never know. I mean, I bet, you know, Westerns thought that they were going to go on forever, too. They're like, we'll go on forever. Yeah. West doing nothing but Westerns. Yeah, they're like, we could do a Wyatt Earp movie that doesn't have Wyatt Earp in it. <laughs> and then they do because it. Because we have plenty <laughs> of time to do Wyatt Earp movies. Yeah. How many uh, uh, Aquamans stopping a wave out of five like do cool. you give it? I give it two out of five, just because... I thought the Aquaman stuff looked good. Everything else, there, the Aquaman stuff looked cool. Everything else looked kind of like basic and boring. I don't know if it looked basic and boring, but it looked like, I think for one, it looked like Batman Superman at the end when like they're all fighting parademons, and I thought like, uh. yeah. And then, I think um, I don't I don't know so much about Cyborg. I'd probably have to watch it a couple more times, but. Oh, yeah, and I thought the CGI on Cyborg looked bad, so there's a spectrum where it's like, <laughs> it's like the Aquaman does, stuff looked look cool, weird. Cyborg looked bad, everything else was in the middle and was just, like, not impressive. Okay. I'll give it a two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half Aquamans, stop it away. Out of five. Out of five. Cool. I mean, at least this one kind of has, like, a like funner tone to the trailer, where it's, like, got that, like, what is it, the Beatles? It's got, like, a Rocky... Oh, yeah, know. the song was good. Well, it was, like, good, but it was It was, good. A, it was a pretty good choice. It was I mean, good in the comparison of, like, you know, because before it was, like, the old, like... 
Icky Thump. <laughs> yeah, it was like Icky Thump from like 2006. I mean, Icky Thump's a good song. It's a good song, but it's like, we know it's from 2006. It's like, why is this Well, Come Together is from what, the 70s? Yeah, but it's like a cool cover, you know? It's Icky Thump's not old enough to be retro, but it's not new enough. It just seems like, did you just discover Icky Thump or whatever? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I thought Icky Thump was bad, and I thought this one was like, oh, they chose a good song. Yeah, come together, get it? Because they're the Justice League, and they're coming together. And they're coming together. Makes sense. And I just want to say again, we're not Marvel fanboys. Yeah. I yeah. like Marvel. Look at this shelf over here. Yeah. We you got... probably have a Justice League where Superman's not in it. <laughs> you probably have a Justice League. <laughs> yeah, book. I've got so many Justice Yeah, you got a, yeah you, aren't these two, these Justice League books right here, they don't have Superman. It has, they have mon -El. It has a Superman. <laughs> it it's got mon, -El. mon -El in it. Yeah, the Justice League has to have a super. If Mon El was in this trailer, I'd be like, oh, yeah, sweet. Like, yeah. yeah, and it doesn't even have Batman in it. Yeah, and it it's got Batman a, right here. It's got Dick a Batman. Grayson. It's got a Batman. It's got a Wonder Woman. It's got a monkey. Yeah, it's got a. It's got an ape. <laughs> no Justice League is complete without a monkey. But yeah, we, we love DC, you know, so we're not just Marvel fanboys. Uh, you know, it's just... We want to see we want to see a Justice League movie that you know we're gonna enjoy. All right, well guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, did you like the trailer? If so, let us know. I guess if you didn't, awesome. Um, <laughs> awesome, because we agreed with you. <laughs> yeah, because you agreed with us, and that's all that matters is our opinions. Ha ha ha! Well, it does on our channel. So, fuck you and good night. Have a good day. That's my new catchphrase. <laughs> Blam! Death cake.